Hey guys and welcome back. So in today's video, we are going to be looking in depth at 25 words that are imperative if you are in a university type environment. So if you're interested, then please stay tuned. To my subscribers, welcome back you guys. And if you're new here, then welcome. My name is Victoria and I post for those of you who are looking to master the American accent. So if you're in that boat, then feel free to subscribe and hit that notification bell and YouTube will let you know once I've posted a new video. All right, let's get started with our top 25 university themed words. So our first word is college, college. Now, if you have ever been in the United States or if you've ever seen American movies, you'll have noticed that most of the English speaking world refers to university as university. However, in the United States, it's referred to much, much more commonly as college. So if you're meeting someone and you're chatting, you would say to them, so where did you go to college? Not where did you go to university? And this is a really important distinction, even though it doesn't seem like a big deal. But to most Americans, if you say, where did you go to university? They will just find it a little bit unusual sounding or even possibly pretentious sounding, even if that's absolutely not your intention. So in the word college, there are two syllables. The first one is ka, so k going into a low back ah open vowel. And then the second syllable is l, schwa, and then j, lj, lj. Where did you go to college? Because it's in the name of our video, let's analyze the word university. University. So in terms of its pronunciation, there are quite a few syllables. So we have U, so that's a Y going into a tense moving U sound. The second syllable is N schwa, na, na. So it's not uni, it's una. The third syllable is ver, and that's the strongest syllable. And then we have another S schwa, S. And then the final syllable is flap, E. U, N, Ver, S, R, I. University. Just to add to my earlier comment how in the United States college is more typical than to say university, you will of course hear the word university being used if for example you go to Columbia University. You wouldn't change the name of the institution. You wouldn't say I go to Columbia College because that would very likely be a totally different college that may or may not exist within the global university. So just something to keep in mind. So next up we have GPA. GPA. So there are three vowels in this word, which of course stands for grade point average. And listen to the vowels here, GPA. So all of them are moving. They're not pure vowels. They're not GPA, which I hear a lot. So make sure you diphthongize those vowels, pretend they're I, Y, and E, Y. G, P, and then the last one is A, G, P, A. Next up, we have campus. Campus, so the, the university buildings, the grounds, all of that is called the university campus, or of course, the college campus. So for campus, two syllables. That first syllable is cam, so it's that nasalized A vowel. And then the second syllable is p, schwa, s, pus, campus. That's a beautiful campus. The next word is scholarship, scholarship. So listen to these vowels. The first one is ska. The second syllable is lur, even though it looks like lar, it is not scholar, it's ska lur. And then the final syllable is ship, just like a ship that sails in the sea scholarship. Our next word is fraternity. Fraternity. So it's really common in colleges all across North America that you'll hear of fraternities. And a fraternity is basically a group of men that is kind of like a social club. So a given fraternity will have a given like value system, goals, maybe certain common backgrounds. And oftentimes you have to apply to join a given fraternity. So fraternity has four syllables. The first one is schwa. The second one is our winner, ter. Another schwa, 
and then alveolar flap going into E, fraternity. I'll mention as well that instead of fraternity, it's really common to hear that abbreviated to just frat. So you might hear that someone lives in a frat house or that they went to a frat party. The female version of a fraternity is called a sorority. Sorority. So similar to fraternity, sorority has four syllables and two schwas. So soror, so we have s schwa, soror, and then r, so another r going into a schwa, and then alveolar flap going into an e. Sorority. The next word is admission. Admission. So you applied for admission to a given school. So the first syllable is schwa, second syllable is our winner, it's a lax i, and then the third syllable is a schwa again, admission. The next word is PhD, PhD. So kind of similar to GPA in terms of those vowels being tense and diphthongized so that they're not pure, they're slightly moving. So listen to P H D. And imagine like that there's an invisible Y in those words. Also keep in mind the link between the P and the H. I want you to pretend that that Y is joining both of those syllables. So it's not a PH, it's a PH, a PhD. Next up is the word major. Major. Two syllables. The winner is the first one, may. And then the trick for major is that that second syllable looks like Jor, but it's not major, it's major. So the OR doesn't make an OR sound, it makes an ER sound. What was your major? The next word is loan. Loan. A popular word if you're studying in the United States because college is very, very expensive. So loan is just one syllable. It is an O vowel, so it moves and nothing too interesting about the word loan other than that. So our next word is alumni. Alumni. So this refers to a group of people who have all graduated from the same college or institution, we'll say. So in alumni, there's three syllables. That first letter A is a schwa. The second syllable is lum, so that lacks a sound. And then the third syllable is Nye, nye, alumni. So our next word is professor. So in professor, the real trick is that the P-R-O doesn't make the pro sound. So we're not saying a professor, we're saying a professor. So the P-R-O is really P-R schwa. Profe and then S-O-R is sir. So it's not professor, it's professor. Do you like your professor? So our next word is bachelors. Bachelors. So this one looks like it's bachelors or bachelors, but there's only two syllables being pronounced when we say bachelors. So the first one is batch with a tense a ah sound, and the second syllable is lers. So it's like l, er, and then z. Bachelors. Next up we have the word masters. Masters. Again, two syllables and that first vowel is an a, ah, just like in bachelors. In masters, that second syllable is s, t, er, z, sters, masters. I have my master's degree in speech language pathology. So our next word is dorm, dorm. So when you're a freshman in college, so once you first enter college, a lot of students choose to live in a dorm. So this is housing that's typically provided by the institution and oftentimes you live with a roommate. So in dorm, it's only one syllable and that vowel is a complex R vowel. So it's or. She lives in a dorm. The next word's elective. Elective. So to complete your degree, you're probably going to have certain courses that you have to complete and then you may have a number of electives. So you might have some freedom to choose some courses that interest you. So in elective, there are three syllables. The first and last are both schwa and then the middle syllable is the winner, eh. 
elective. Elective. The next word is plagiarism. Plagiarism, a big, big no-no at university. So plagiarism means that you're stealing someone's work or that you're using someone's work without giving credit where it's due. And most colleges actually take this incredibly seriously and you can get kicked out for plagiarism in a lot of places. So in plagiarism, there are four syllables. The first one is play. The second one is j, so schwa. Then we have ri and then zum, so another schwa. Plagiarism. Plagiarism with the winner on the first. Next up we have textbook. Textbook. So you know that you need a lot of textbooks in college and they're usually absurdly expensive. So textbook only has two syllables and both of the vowel sounds are lax. So the first vowel is e and the second vowel is u uh, as in good. So make sure it's not a book, it's a book. The other trick with textbook, if you look at the word text, there's a T, right? But we don't typically hear textbook because that's really cluttery. It's cumbersome to say. So it's really common that that T will be totally eliminated and that you will hear people saying textbook, textbook. The next word is faculty. Faculty, as in the, the staff, the academic staff at the college. So in faculty, three syllables, fa with that tense a sound, then k, u, dark l, so kul, and then t with a tense e at the end. Faculty. So our next word is possibly the most important word in all your college career, and that word is pass because you want to make sure that you pass all of your classes to get the credit that you need to graduate. So in pass, it's just one syllable and make sure that vowel is that tense a ah, sound. I hope you pass all of your classes. The next word is advisor. Advisor. So this is usually a professor or some member of the faculty that's going to help you kind of figure out whether you're on track to graduate, whether you're not missing any credits, all that kind of stuff. So an advisor, there are three syllables. The first one is a schwa, so it's not an advisor, it's an advisor. The middle syllable is our winner, vi, and then our final syllable is z and then er, advisor. Next up is the word credit. Credit. So you have to have a certain number of credits to graduate. So credit is only made up of two syllables and both pretty straightforward. Cre and then rit. So the real trick in this one is that that D is not making a D sound. We don't say credit. It's an alveolar flap. Credit. Next up, the word tuition. Tuition. So tuition refers to the cost of your study. So I have to pay my tuition by the end of the week. So in tuition, there are three syllables. The first one is tu, and the second one is simply I, a lax I sound. However, the W from that two is going to combine both of those syllables. So it's going to sound like tu wi, tu wi. And then our final syllable is shun. So sh, schwa, n, tuition. And our final word is exam. Exam, everyone's least favorite part of college typically. So in exam, there are only two syllables, and that first syllable is a schwa. The second syllable is a nasalized tense a ah, sound. So it sounds like am, exam. I hope you do really well on all your exams. So that is all for today's video, you guys. I hope you liked it. I hope you found it helpful. If so, give it a like, share it with a friend, and I'll see you in the next one. Bye.